Hey guys, this is JC and stuff here and um, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that um, that sparked my interest when I started purchasing gold coins like a few years ago. And that is the fact that most uh, coins or uh, not most coins, but some coins throughout the world are not actually made of 100% pure gold or at least as close to it they're actually alloys of gold like in this case this Kruger and here which I'm holding this coin here is supposed to be about 22 karat gold which means it has a purity of about 91% instead of 100% like like other coins such as um, Canadian maple um, so how do we then determine what the actual volume and the actual density for this coin should be? Well, it turns out that if you want to figure out the exact density, you first need to know what the metal composition of the coin itself is. And uh, to do that, you can gather information and the official web pages as far as like the the actual whatever the country that mints those coins for instance if you want to get information on this Krugerrand there is a South African mint for the Krugerrand so therefore they will you can actually look it up on Google and find out more about what the specs for these coins should be and then also there's so the coins the, the coin dealers such as amex.com they also have some information as far as like what the purity of these coins uh, should be so if we know what the weight what the exact weight of this coin should be and we also know what the metal composition of it is then we can then determine what the volume of this coin should be. And if, you, if we can determine the volume of it, then we can also find out what the density is, right? So for instance, for this coin, according to uh, amex.com, the weight of this coin should be about 16.97 grams. And its purity is 22 carats, as we previously mentioned. So therefore, if we take uh, the, the gold content in it, which is about 91.67%, and we divide it, I mean, I'm sorry, we multiply it by the weight, then we can actually get a value for the actual amount of gold in the coin, the, of, uh, the actual amount of pure gold in the coin, which is about 15.56 grams. So then the remaining weight of the coin is um, made up of just copper, which is about 8.33%. Uh, well, it turns out that when you multiply 8.33% times the weight of the coin, then it gives us about 1.41 grams. Or you can also do subtract this number from this number, and it'll give you this number. It's the same thing. Either way, it will give you the same result. So how do we then determine when we have an alloy, what do we what do, what can we do to determine the volume of that the volume of that alloy? Well, all we have to do is just use this equation here, which is um, the equation to determine the, the volume of an alloy. So the, the volume it's equal to the mass fractional of one metal divided by the, the density of that same metal. And then you take that and add it to the mass fractional, mass fraction of the metal, of the second metal, and divide it by the density of the second metal. And if you had a third and fourth metal, you would just continue doing this uh, for, for those two other metals. So how, once we have that volume, then we can go ahead and use our, our uh, density formula. And we can take the mass of the actual uh, 
object that we're trying to measure and then divide it by that volume and it should give us an exact density or at least what it's supposed to be. So we have here, going back to our Kruger and, and plugging in the numbers and the values for the Kruger and we have about, if we, if we want to determine the volume of this Kruger and all we have to do is just punch in this, these numbers, which is, we, we already know that, that the gold content in this coin is about 15.56 grams. And we divide that by the density of gold, which is about 19.32 grams per cubic centimeter. Then we add that to the, our next metal, which is copper in this case. So we take the, the copper content, which is about 1.41 grams, and we divide that by the density of copper, which is about 8.96 grams per cubic centimeter. And that should give us a rough value of about 0.96274. And then there's, all, there's just there's a few decimal places. But in, in, if we want to make this calculation simple, I'm just going to go ahead and round it off to the fifth significant figure. So... In this case, we're gonna use 0.96274 as our volume, and this is in cubic centimeters again, because once you divide these two values, then the grams cancel, grams cancel, and it becomes cubic centimeters. And same thing for this side of the equation. So, so the density, then once we know the volume of what the Kruger Rand, the half an ounce Kruger Rand should be, which is about 0.96274 cubic centimeters. Then we take the weight of the actual half an ounce Krugerrand, which is about 16.97 grams, according to uh, the amix.com. And we divide it by, the, by what the volume should be, which is about 0.96274 centimeters, cubic centimeters, I'm sorry. And this gives us a value of about 17.62 grams per cubic centimeter. So this value here is what our Krugerrand should be. It's supposed to be about 17.67 grams per cubic centimeters. Now, why does this matter? Well, we can use the, the more we know about our coins, then the better we can we can figure out whether they're real or not, whether they're actually made up of the metals that um, that they're supposed to be. So if we can find out all this information, the better the better it is for us because then we can determine uh, if we if we want to buy any future coins, we can use this as a, as a reference. So, again, we can use this formula for many other uh, coins. We can use, for instance, um, if we were doing this, uh, the calculating the exact value uh, for the density of, uh, of a gold eagle, then we would just simply add uh, the third metal, which is silver in, in that case. So... In that case, it would be, we would have gold as uh, our number one metal, and then copper as our number two, and then the number three metal would be um, silver. So there you have it. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward formula. It just basically means that you, you take the, the mass fraction of the metals and you divide them by their density and then just add them up and they should give us the volume for what the whatever their our sample of, uh, of alloy we're trying trying to measure all right well that's it for today guys uh thank you very much uh for watching this video i hope uh you learned something new and then on, on my next video we'll probably be talking more about the half an ounce Krugeran that I'm holding. And um, I would also be talking about how to determine the speed of sound since these are these coins are not 
uh, made up of 100% pure gold, we cannot we cannot use the exact number as to as far as like the the speed of sound through gold. We have to use the speed of sound through gold mixed with copper in this case. So I will be talking more about that in my next video. Okay, thank you for watching guys and uh, hope you had a great Christmas and um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.